Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today, this design, it's, a, it's another Halloween design because I've been already doing events, you know, especially in the weekends, Halloween events, you know, pumpkin patch. But what happened is there is uh, always this little witch asking for a broom. And I try to keep designs fast and, you know, especially because I'm having more line twisting events. Usually Halloween events, don't you think there's like lots of kids, like a school festivals, fall festivals. Um, these events, you know, there's lots of people. So you want to have a line twisting design or a very fast, and it's not hard, but I think it's cool. It's gonna be this witch broom. So let me show you how it's looking. And this is the cool part. Um, there is, you know, probably more simple ways, yes. But I've been, you know, looking at pictures, kind of cute ideas, cute designs. Look, usually the kids have once, you know, a broom, a witch broom. It's a, it's a little girl or little guy that is dressing as a witch. So this is can be, you know, a good choice because it's not like super big, you know, like a real size broom. But I think it's a perfect size for a little kid. Like I'm talking, you know, seven and, and under or even eight. Yeah, I think it's not that bad. So you have the idea, how big is this? Okay, so now let's do it. What you need, it's going to be um, two, three, four balloons, minimum four balloons, because at the end, why not? If you already made this and you wanna make it super special, you can always add a little bow somewhere on this stick for from the broom and it can be purple so we're gonna do this all in this video so let's start it now you will need if you want because there's so many different colors this is the fun part you can make it uh green you know the this part the brush uh the most popular is gonna be probably um what is this color yellow but if you have golden road if you have black even why not try and use it um so that's kind of the idea i'm gonna use yellow because it's a classic one and you just need to blow these yellows all the way yep it's a 260 so if you have 160 sure i think it's gonna work but 260 thing is gonna be better so inflate the two balloons 260 all the way okay when i say all the way it's all the way and then even that I say all the way, don't forget, lose some air to make this soft and squishable. Okay, always lose air. That way your balloon is gonna be easy to, to don't pop. You know, it's gonna be easier to twist without popping. So the idea is you grab it is, find a half, twist it, and you can do this at the same time. You just find a half, twist it, grab these two half, twist it together, and look at this, probably a lot of you already are remembering when I do this. When I do this, do you remember? It's when I'm doing the spider, yep, for the spider. So then here I just put two balloons, five inch rounds, if this is black. But this is gonna be also for an idea of a broom, why not? You will see. Now, to cover this emptiness here, and make this, you know, with a better shape. I'm thinking a quick link or a round balloon. If you don't have a quick link, this size, like it's six inch round, a quick link, you just use a round balloon and attach a racing beam. What is gonna be the quick link? Always quick. It's gonna make you be faster at events. So if you don't have it, you can always have things pre-made. Like if you, for example, go to an event, and it's not like everybody's gonna ask for a broom, especially, you know, the kids that dress up a witch and they don't have their broom, you know, in the costume. But so probably you can make 10 of these already pre-made, like you just put a racing bin here and you have just the racing bin already inside, can be a good idea. But if you have the quick link, it's, that's it. Now look at this, you fill the balloon almost all the way, then you lose some air, so it's soft and squishable, and it's bigger than the palm of your hand. So you're kind of using something bigger than the palm of your hand, but even that, you're gonna tie it close to the nasal. Now, this is a cool technique. We've been doing it a lot of times. So what is the cool part about these tutorials? You can connect, mix techniques that you're learning, and then create something new. 
So this is kind of the idea. Um, you just squish because it's close to the nerve zone. Look at that, look at that. So now you just squish up. And this is another way that you can grab that part and kind of like you can measure here the two finger bubble and then look well keep pushing you can grab another bubble already you know like two finger bubble look how i'm doing it well keep pushing so then you play with the uh the air you want in each bubble you know and that's why you always inflatable all the way and then lose air then it's going to be easy to manipulate okay so with practice this is much faster much easier and there is always different ways so don't think oh this is, this is too hard keep trying you will find your own way that is easier for me this is how i do it and what i'm doing there is now two bubbles and then i will make a double pinch twist that means twist this and the other one okay so you have something like that do you remember what when we did this for for example the the unicorn now the way I made it is now this pinch twist is almost the same size. When I do this for the unicorn, I make it a little different. So then one leap is a little bit bigger, you know, but it's all playing, you know, with different techniques, different ways to make kind of the same thing. So you have this. Now, when you make something like this, I recommend you take a moment, look at this and start thinking what it looks like, what reminds you. What is like you seeing this and it's like hmm, this reminds me of something you know you can even go with the color you can go you know like i can see um i can see a lime <laughs> easy right so you can see a lot of things like the fish leaves so you can see a lot of things even part of a flower you know so that's a cool way that you can keep creating new designs now when you have this the idea is you connect this and this together so you just grab all that and twist it one time or a couple times together just pass this around you know and then just kind of accommodate it uh, that this bubble is in the center okay as soft and squishable you make your bubbles it's gonna be easier now you're gonna end up with something like that what is like you're having here look each empty space have one of these long pieces they are kind of like found their own ways you can always, you know, grab this piece, the tip of the quick link, and this is the fun part, and then you can connect it with this and then you don't lose it. But if you don't want, you don't have to. So this is another cool thing. If you're using a run balloon and you don't have any tip here, it's going to stay there. Don't worry. You don't need to even make a racing bean. Wow. <laughs> but you can always do it and and it's gonna be kind of like make things more secure but it's up to you you don't have to again okay it's gonna be secure because after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab each of these and just pass it to the next one that is here just pass it so the same here just pass it to there to empty you know cover the empty spaces okay and the same here what this is going to make is kind of like a little bit of a crazy shape as a broom. Okay, this is kind of what the idea. In order to make it more into a broom, like pointy, you can grab the two nozzles that, you know, or one side to the other one that is opposite and tie it. Now, this, this technique is also the technique to make fire if you put it this way and so that's another cool thing. If it's too tight, Try to just find the ones that are with the nozzle. So those try to accommodate it the way that they can be opposite. Uh, and so that's gonna be easy for later to tie the opposite sides to make, to create something more pointy. If it's not, you're gonna have to deal with something a little bit more tricky, but not impossible. Remember, it's all about, you know, practice and just tie it in there, okay? And then if you want, you can do the other ones. But you don't have to, you just leave it there. Look, it's create a crazy shape, a crazy space there with balloons and, and you can tie it if you want, but you don't have to, trust me. The idea is this can be something crazy. You just find the best angle always for the picture. And when you find the best angle, you can always grab this and twist it the way you want it to be the front. So that is gonna be my front. I like this, this side. Now, this part, this is how I want it to be in the front. 
You just need a, the last balloon, the 260 brown. It can be black, it can be gray, it can be any color that you just, it's gonna be the stick, so remember. So I'm using mocha brown. You just blow it all away, yeah? And then, why? I think it's faster. It's faster this way. You blow it away, and when you have it all the way, you can always tie it even. Okay, and then from that, you cannot measure how long. If the kids say, oh, I want it that long all the way, are you sure it's gonna be too long? You can always kind of like recommend the kid, maybe something like this here. So now, when you are in something like this, you're gonna, I'm gonna say, this is four plus four, one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 finger bubble approximately, okay? You cut, you have, these two spaces and make sure this side that is the 24 finger long it's soft and squishable okay so why because with this you can make something like a little detail and you don't need much just something soft and squishable something like this and then with this you just tie there okay and attach it all the way to here to this top now there is always different ways yes but sometimes i have this goal to trying to save balloon and that at the same time makes me not save time which is okay i guess it's, it is what it is but if you want to make this faster you just blow up the whole balloon 160 and then go in spiral up make some shape and that's it or you're gonna just blow kind of like this long you know it's what like my elbow how many hands? Let's see, like this, one, two, three. Three big hands, like that, okay? So you have an idea, because remember, usually the people that is gonna ask for a broom is gonna be a little kid, trust me. I have been doing a lot of events, and that's what, I, so you just, this end, I like to make it like this, like a little bit of shape, like this, and then soft and squishable, Soft, you know, and slowly you're gonna let it out. It's gonna make it this style. Now it's kind of tricky to show you something that long, you know, and even that I didn't want to make it that long, but it's cute, it's cute. Okay, so this is the idea. Now, what else from here? It's this part you can always because it's so soft and squishable, and you don't want to use another balloon, you just make a bubble, another one finger bubble, twist them these two together like a double pinch twist. It can be just only one finger bubble. It cannot be any finger bubble pinch twist, anything at all. You just squish, stretch, and make it as skinny as a 160 idea. And when you have it like that, you're just gonna pass it around, just only to give it another extra detail. Something around, look. Something around those pinch twists, okay? You can put it a little bit like going inside if you want. So play with that. You know, that's why it's soft and squishable that it can go there. Now, when you kind of like find all the things that you can squish it, look how this 260 became something like a 160 because it's soft and squishable. You can always open a little bit those pinch twists and put it in there. Okay, so this is just a little extra detail, but it can make you looking really cool. Um, here, you just cut the essa, the excess, I mean, like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, the excess. And just pass this around, make sure things are locked, tight. Remember, I always kind of pay attention more what is the front. The back is not really much that I worry, really, no. Because for me, it's just what you're gonna show to the kid in the first impression, the kid's gonna look at us like, what? <laughs> I think it's a very cute way. Now, if you think, you have more time after making this you can always grab a 160 balloon look this is a 160 i'm using purple and you can make a bow you can make something like four finger bubble then four finger bubble another four finger bubble Though this is the easy peasy bow four finger bubble four finger finger bubble loop another four finger bubble loop you can make a two finger bubble, soft and squishable pinch twist in the center. And then when you have this, you're gonna squish and soft and squishable, you can attach it anywhere you want. For example, you find the front, you have it there, 
and then just pass it around okay a little bit of pressure so then it doesn't fail and then go back and measure the other four finger loop i'm going to show you how everything is looking in a moment let me just measure the four finger bubble on me and cut that's it this is just an extra touch you can always bend this part of the ribbon okay and this also you can open it a little bit so it's all about oh man if that happened to you don't worry remember we have left over <laughs> of the 160 my goodness lately i've been popping too many balloons what is going on it is the quality of the balloons it is me who knows my nails i don't even have nails well i'm, I'm looking for oh here the little piece <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? Well, these balloons, 160, it's just a, a quartz, so it's like a jewel, kind of delicate, but okay, let's keep trying, nothing happened, rewind, so I'm just going to fix it, attaching another loop, but the thing is, guys, if this happened to you, and this is a good moment to tell you, if it happened to you, you can always fix it, this can be the moment that you can show kids that it's okay, you know, if that happens, it's not a big deal. You're just spending more time with these kids and they also see that, come on, maybe they don't even notice, maybe you can make a joke about it. It's a magical witch and she's making some tricks to you right now, it's in a spell. Okay, so look, this is the broom, I hope you like it. Uh, the bow is right there. You can always add a sticker, some glitter, a lot of things. Remember, you can make even inside a quick link. Why not add a light, a light, a LED light? So it's gonna be with a bling bling. So that would be really cool too. I hope you like it. This is the broom, and there's always many ways to make it, but this is another way. And why not try it? It's not hard. It's just probably playing with more balloons, but playing with more balloons sometimes can help you to be faster. That's what I, you know, like remind me when I was at this last balloon convention and Austin Convention for Entertainers, I met there Cody Williams and he is super fast. Cody Williams is the fastest balloon twister probably in the world. <laughs> and, you know, he was talking about, look, I don't even count how many balloons I, I use, you know, for line twisting. I use as many as what I think is going to make me faster. So he just preferred to blow lots of balloons because he's really fast blowing and tying balloons that, um, so that way he can be making big things fast. Uh, so I was thinking, hmm, yes. So he doesn't think about saving, you know, saving a piece of balloon or saving, uh, like, you know, he, he thinks it's better to use one 260 brown for this part and then another balloon 160 brown for this part he's totally gonna do it okay because it's gonna be faster yes i'm into more this uh mind that it's hard I, even after many years making balloons i always think about saving you know saving and trying to use one balloon as much as i can and at the same time that what that idea in my mind makes me be fast because i need to be fast in order to you know do these ideas that saving the balloons so okay this is the design enjoy it and don't forget like comment subscribe to this channel because that helps a lot and i'm celebrating you see today probably wasn't the day that i'm thinking i'm gonna share a video but why not how i'm not gonna share i'm super happy i have now officially over 9,000 subscribers thank you so much more than 9,000 subscribers to this channel it's amazing and that year is not over so we still have the chance to get 10,000 subscribers so this channel that will be awesome if this year ends with 10,000 subscribers how to do that you can do that subscribe to the channel a lot of you more than 60% of people that watches my videos they have not subscribed yet so do it subscribe to the channel because that's gonna be supporting and helping along this youtube channel another thing you can always check up on the description of all my videos i have there ideas how to collaborate with this channel for example you can donate money i have my bank on paypal account you can also 
Uh, visit my Amazon wish list. I have lots of cool ideas for you as a balloon twister, balloon decorist, balloon entertainer to to see, you know, that Amazon has really good things, you know. But also, I had my time to check things there and add it to this Amazon wish list. That you can find it on the description. And if you can get something from there, it will come direct to my house, and I will very well appreciate it because in order to keep this channel. You know, it's um, balloons, materials, markers, um, in all this time, you know, all the time that I spent, I'm super happy you appreciate it and you um, value, you know, and I'm very grateful. Thank you all of you. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments and for supporting this channel with donating money. How? I have a Venmo account. I have a PayPal account. So there you go. Have a wonderful day and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.